welcome to the basics of rheology with a focus on food rheology. This video will cover basic rheological tools used in food quality control. When I say rheology, you might be thinking of a big expensive rheometer like this one to poke and play with your food for scientific curiosity, of course. But not everyone has an extensive budget or the need for a rheometer. So today, we'll be covering some basic rheological equipment that can be simple to a little more complex. We will start with the Boswick Consistometer, and then the Brookfield Viscometer, and lastly, we will introduce the Texture Analyzer. The Boswick is about as basic as it comes. It's a long, sloped canal in which you release product and measure how far it flows over a set time to help determine its viscosity. It's commonly used in the tomato and ketchup industry. On the back of the Boswick, you have adjustable feet to change the slope, the gate, which is closed in this picture, and the sample loading area. In the front, you have the gate, now open in this picture, and the flow canal, which is graduated or has markings to determine how far the fluid flowed. And in the front, or very front, is a level to help set the slope. In our example, we compared canola oil on the left and corn syrup on the right. As you can see, it's obvious that samples that are fluid-like but with higher viscosity, like corn syrup or ketchup, work better with the Boswick. Next, we have the Brookfield Viscometer. This is used to measure viscosity in fluid-like products. A spindle is placed in a beaker and the resistance on the spindle is used to determine the viscosity of the product. With the Brookfield, the spindle is interchangeable and a larger spindle is used for lower viscosity foods like orange juice and a small spindle is used for higher viscosity fluids or foods like yogurt. On the screen, you have the speed of the spindle, which you can control, and the torque percent, which should be between 10% and 100%, which help determines if you have the right speed and spindle for your product. And then you have the identity of the spindle you're using. On the top, you have the viscosity reading and centipoise. The Brookfield is one of the most common methods to measure viscosity in quality control and quality assurance settings. Lastly, there is the texture analyzer, which is a misnomer. Within food science, texture is measured by a human sensory panel. Therefore, you cannot measure texture with the texture analyzer. Simply, the texture analyzer has a platform and a movable arm that can be fitted with different attachments to run a wide range of tests. One of these tests is a single compression test used to determine what it takes to fracture a sample, like a hot dog. In closing, we have seen three different rheological tools, the Boswick Consistometer, the Brookfield Viscometer, both to help determine viscosity in a sample, and the texture analyzer to test the physical properties of a sample. Now you have a basic understanding of rheological tools used in food quality assurance and quality control.